Today, I wanna to tell you how I run my online business in just 20 hours a week. But before I get into breaking down exactly what my tasks look like every week, I wanna give you a little bit of context. So before I ran the online business that I run today, I ran a local business called Northwest School of Music. Now, in a lot of ways, this was a great gig and it was fun to teach the kids music, but one of the big downsides to it was that after all of our expenses, and there were a lot of them, I was only able to take home about $20,000 per year in profits, which as I'm sure you can imagine, wasn't really enough to comfortably live on. And it was with working about 50 hours per week. Today, on the other hand, my online business, as you can see from the title of this video, it brings in more than twice that every single month. So more than $40,000 in profits every single month. And that's with me working less than half the amount I used to, only about 20 hours per week. So you might be wondering like, what is the big difference, Gillian? Why did the one business earn so little? I mean, I was effectively earning about $8 or a little less per hour back then versus now I'm earning over $375 per hour. So what is the radical difference between these two businesses and what am I doing that is working so differently and earning me so much more money? Now, I think the first thing I should point out is the very obvious fact that I'm the same person I was back when I was earning only $20,000 a year. And the reason I think I should point that out is because it's really easy to feel like, well, some people are capable of earning $200,000 a year, like if you're a lawyer, then of course you earn that much. And then other people, they just can't because they're only a cashier, so they only earn 20,000 a year. But I'm the same person I was back when I was earning way less. And you, being the exact same person you are today, have the potential to earn any potential amount. So don't put yourself in a box. Don't think, well, she can do it, but you know, I'm only capable of this amount. What you really need to change is just what you are doing. And specifically by this, I mean what business model you're using. So the basic idea here is that different business models have the potential to earn different rates of profit. So back when I ran the music school, I spent most of my time providing one-on-one -on -one services to clients. And then I spent the rest of my time doing administration and just running the business. Now, I could only make money when I was doing that billable work, when I was actually working with the client. And when I was doing that billable work, I was literally just trading my time for money. And my time was obviously very limited. So to be able to increase my income, I needed to change one of two things. Either I needed to sell something that was a lot more valuable than music lessons so that I could earn a lot more from each customer I was serving, or else I needed to sell a product that was actually scalable. Something Thing that I could sell thousands of units of and wasn't limited based off of my time, maybe even something I could sell to multiple customers at the same time. Now, how I ended up doing this was I switched from selling local, personally delivered services to instead selling digital products because the digital products, they're just so much more scalable meaning that for every additional one you sell, you don't have to greatly increase the size of your business or increase your overhead costs or anything like that. This is the perfect time to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Uscreen, because Uscreen is one of the most powerful ways you can create digital products online today. There's no doubt about it, when it comes to selling digital products, packaging matters a lot. People will pay way more for a course than they will for an ebook, even if the two products actually contain the exact same information. And that's exactly how Uscreen can come in and make your business way more successful. Because if you're thinking about selling a course or a membership site, or maybe you already do, but it's not being as successful as you'd like it to, then Uscreen can come along and make it look like a much more high-end product. Using Uscreen, you can set up your own Netflix style subscription with a website as well as apps that people can use to subscribe and access your content. Creating something like this from scratch would cost hundreds of hours of coding time and thousands of dollars, but Uscreen makes it so quick and easy. Now, not only can Uscreen make your content look really good, but they also take care of pretty much everything else from facilitating your payments to managing your members to making it easy for your members to manage their own accounts, Uscreen has you covered. If you'd like to learn how you could use Uscreen to set up and monetize your own platform like this, then check out the link in the description.
So now let's get into the meat of this video. What exactly do I spend my time on each week to be able to run this $500,000 business in just 20 hours per week? I spend about two hours working on the products themselves, developing products, creating courses, improving our existing courses. Then I spend one hour on customer service. The reason I'm able to spend so little time on customer service is because I've spent quite a bit of time working on developing my business and developing a customer service team and training a customer service team so that that team can provide the very highest quality of service to the customers without my direct involvement. However, I still like to spend about an hour a week answering those questions that maybe the customer service team isn't 100% sure how to answer or helping to train them even further. And that leads me to the next category I spend my time on, which is admin and team management. I have a small team of people who practically run my business for me and do a lot of the heavy lifting. So I make sure to prioritize serving them and supporting them so that they can do their job to the best of their ability. Now, the last category of tasks is the thing that I spend the biggest amount of my time on, and that is marketing and free content creation. We create free content for content marketing. And I spend about 11 hours per week creating free content. This includes YouTube videos, writing blog articles, recording podcast episodes, email marketing, sometimes running ad campaigns, all of this lumped together 11 hours per week. Now, something that you will probably notice, you probably have noticed already, is that none of these categories are directly billable. I mean, the closest thing we've got to billable hours would be creating those paid products or customer service, but they're not technically billable because no one pays me based on how much time I spend on those things. People pay my company for the results they get. They pay my company to get the product in hand so they can use it, and it doesn't matter how how much time we spend or don't spend creating that product. And this is a big part of what has really freed me up, freed my time up, and also enabled my business to be so scalable because we sell a product that we can sell over and over and over again instead of selling a service where we constantly have to trade our time or my time for the dollars that we're earning. Now, if you're interested in starting a business like this for yourself, then I think a great starting place would be to go to my business's website to better understand how the business itself actually works and actually makes money. So you can find that at startupsociety.com. And while you're there, you might be interested in the program itself because I believe in this business model so strongly that this is exactly what Startup Society actually specializes in helping our customers accomplish. Building scalable online businesses that sell digital products and earn passive income. The program covers all the basics of how to actually launch your business online, how to build your brand, and how to create consistent monthly income. So again, you can learn all about the program itself as well as just study my business as a case study at startupsociety.com. Recently, I've been thinking about how I would like to end more of my videos with action steps so that you can really take what you learn from my videos and put it into practice and use it to get results. So my action step for you today is to think about what product could you sell at scale? What could you sell over and over and over again without having to spend more of your time every single time you make a sale? Maybe it's you write a book or you create an online course, or maybe you could create an app or hire someone to create an app or some piece of software, or maybe you sell templates. Like I know someone who sells templates for Notion, which is like a productivity and organization software. He just sells templates templates that enable people to better organize their thoughts and ideas inside of Notion, and he makes a couple million dollars a year just selling those templates. Next up, if you are already running your own business, then check out this video right here about how to plan a productive work schedule. Or if you're just dipping your toes into this online business thing, then watch this video about how to decide what business to start.